good. Feel good? Yep. Uh, we'll just open it up for questions for Coach. Just first day of practice is in the books, you know, just the next step in the return. Just uh, what did you see from your guys out there today? Well, obviously, it's just such a totally different day. Just, you know, we're sitting in here in our multi-purpose uh, room today to do this interview. You know, we got to come into the pavilion, which, as I told them, was a was unbelievable. You've got a breeze, you've got cover. So, you know, we're going to adjust to that. You know, I don't think we could break a sweat under this pavilion. You know, but it's just a great to be able to go from that outside heat to be able to come under that pavilion. We're able to have two fields practicing at once. So a lot of things we've probably took for granted really just made it for a great day. I think organizationally, uh, it was a great start. Now, you know, obviously, like anybody, from the first game to the second, you know, from the first practice to the second, we'll look for big improvement. And, and of course, we didn't have any pads on. So, you know, that's different. But organizationally, I, I felt good. What was the feel like from this first practice compared to maybe the first practice of spring and then last fall now that you have that game in a month? Yeah, it's totally different. I mean, I think, um, you know, those things that, that probably I was happy with and, and satisfied with just to kind of be back out there, you know, the, all that feeling's over because, you know, the game is there and we're really looking at that depth chart and, you know, that depth chart should change every day. And, uh, you know, those guys are fighting for actual playing time now versus I know I'm going to get to go in a scrimmage and, you know, that's going to change everything. Are there still wide eyes among the players and coaches as they move around the facility, move around the practice field? Yeah, you know, that was something you would hope was not the case, but it is. I mean, we're just, you know, I'm, th I'm picturing meetings in that, that old building, even when I'm talking to them, and then all of a sudden, you know, we've got a team room, we've got a multi-purpose room, everybody's got an office, and, you know, just things that people, I think probably most people would take for granted, we don't. So there was probably a little bit of that. So hopefully we'll just settle in and, and uh, it'll be normal, but, it, but it's a big deal to be here, no doubt. Is there, do you have more or less of a feel for your depth chart and all that than you would a normal day one? Yeah, you know, I think um, I think we've had these guys for a while. We've added some new ones, so that would tell you that we would have a better feel. I think the fact that we're still, we don't have games to go back and say, I know what this guy's going to do in a game. So that's still to be seen. You know, I think we've seen them in scrimmages, but there's just no way to replicate game action. So, you know, there's going to be still a lot of unknowns even going into that first game. Is there more enthusiasm, you think, than not? Because these guys, they're, they're finally actually got a game in sight. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt. I think, you know, just just the urgency of knowing it's time to play. I think it set everything up from just how we trained all summer to – they did everything that some of the all the guys that were here to get themselves ready to compete and practice. And we worked them really hard, and they, they responded well. You weren't at your pads, but anybody kind of step up as leader today that uh, – you. Know, I mean, I, it'd be hard to single guys out today. I would just say guys that we expected to lead, for the most part, led. You know, and that's that's a lot of them. I mean, guys that, that have been here that have. I mean, we've had these guys for a while. So you know, I think from just understanding how we practice in order, that's that's when I get upset is when a guy that's been here and he doesn't do it. That's the guys that I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna have a problem with. So, um, but I, like I said, I thought it was a very solid first day. It's it's just the expectation for us, and I tell them is really up here, and uh, we've got to raise that level. What does that mean practically, Bill, for you, expectations when you say it's up here? What does that mean? I mean, you know, we're, we're playing to win. I mean, and I, and I think that we're here to compete versus here to win is two totally different thought processes. And, um, you know, we are, we're we excited to be here. We're proud of this. I, and, I, and I tell them all the time, we're playing for more than ourselves. But our expectation level is to do all those things that it takes to win. And uh, the more guys that can get to that spot, the more guys you can play. But it is a high expectation, and, and uh, I've, I've told them over and over and over to be ready for that, you know, just that total different level. Uh, even though I thought we practiced hard before, we didn't have a game sitting out there. You probably had, I don't know, 10 to 15 new guys out there today. It's kind of another practice where you, you've got fewer and fewer new guys out there practicing. How, how did those guys adjust, uh, veterans help them adjust and all that? Yeah, I think first that's a blessing, you know, and to actually have some guys say, this is how we do this. And it wasn't those few guys we had from 14 that was basically teaching a whole team. So we had a very small group of guys that came in. And, uh, you know, we had some got some walk-ons that didn't get to come to camp that's done everything we've asked. And that, that's hard for me. Uh, when you've signed a guy and you've got a walk-on that's done everything right, some of those guys will even get a chance in that first game. So I want to, you know, say that about those guys. But I think, you know, those guys, new guys, just to be new to the system, really probably did pretty well. They, they didn't stick out like sore thumbs like I thought they might. Was everybody in camp? Or? Everybody, I think we were we were lacking uh, maybe one guy that's on our roster um, who's still waiting on some grades. So, but everybody else was there. Any other questions, Coach?
you feel like this team's going to be different than any other team that UAB's brought forward since we didn't get to see you play last year? Right. Yeah, I mean, I think they're just going to be different just for the amount of time they, they waited and sat. And, um, you know, it's just there's just such an unknown about them. So I guess that right there just makes them different, you know. Anything you expect to see coming out in that first game playing-wise? You know, I would just expect us to put a good product out there. You know, I would expect us to, to do all the things that, that we should do. And, and like I said, that's that level of expectation that, that we have and, and, and have always had. You know, I mean, we came in here with 14 with that same expectation. Doesn't matter what we've done before. So the difference with this group, there's really not a negative or a positive. You know, I said the other day, we really, just to be here, they're here, and all they've fought through is, you know, we had an undefeated season. But if we'd been undefeated last year, all that's gone. You know, I mean, that's, you know, as we always say, you talk about your grandkids and all that stuff later on, you look at the rings, but whatever we've done before, it's all about what we do now. So um, hopefully they understand that. I'm sure this day has been circled for you. Just what was that feeling like maybe this morning before everybody got here when you overlooked maybe the balcony or maybe yep. when you walked out the doors to step on the field to start practice? What was that feeling like for you? It, it's exciting. I mean, there's no way to describe. And all the people that helped us get here, and, um, you know, I tell them all the time we were representing a bunch of folks. I mean, when you look, when you're in a facility that was raised, the, all the money was raised. I mean, you know, you really got to feel like you're playing for a bunch of other people. And, and that, to me, is what this is supposed to all be about. You know, you're playing for your family and your hometown. And we are literally playing for this community, you know, who stepped up for us. So, um, you know, I'm not a big emotional guy, but I mean, you can't help but get a little emotional just looking out there on, on this. And, you know, I can see that old facility every day. So I'm ready for that to be gone, but it's probably a good reminder, reminder for us to be appreciative to where we are. And I will tell you this, you know, this group is very appreciative. So that's, that's exciting. The historical significance of the September 2nd game, is that uh, a motivator or is that a, uh, is that something you just can kind of have to downplay with these guys as you get ready to actually play football? I think we just right now, and I know this is cliche as can be, but we literally need to be just thinking about today. And, uh, you know, that's what we've got to fight against because we're all, you know, everybody's ready for it, but we got a lot of work to do, you know, and that's what I say, just magically saying, we're going to show up September 2nd and everything's going to be great. I mean, the guys down the road are probably tired of hearing about us. And, um, you know, they probably got a plan. You know, that's what we said, 130 teams, everybody's working. Everybody says they're going to be the best in shape team and this is their year and all of those things. So what do we do that sets us apart? All right. Thank you.